give me my dog back. They wouldn't give me his body. So I put my dog in the car. And the only thing he was doing when they handcuffed me right here, I said, Max, I said, uh -huh. I said, no, Max. So they stopped. Right. Mm -hmm. They stopped, the two officers stopped. But the third one came out of nowhere, but he didn't hear the conversations or nothing that happened. His name was Officer Sol Solomon that killed him. S-A-L-M-O-N. He killed him. And the other two officers, they already had me in custody. I was complying with them. If you notice, I turned this way and I start backing up. And I let them, I let them handcuff me. Uh -huh. Okay? He said, you're resisting. So I hollered out, I said, you guys, I'm not resisting. They're handcuffing me, but they're saying I'm resisting and I'm not. So they turned me this way, and as I was turning this way, I turned around and my dog jumped out the car. First he was barking, I, he jumped out the car, and he went at one of the officers, and I said, Max, no! And he backed up like this, and that third officer came this way, and when he, when he came this way like this, he had his gun drawn already. So he came over here to kill him. And then the dog jumped like this at him, and he said, pop, and then he said, pop, pop, pop. He did it three more times. So I asked the lieutenant, I said, is that protocol for someone to kill a dog and shoot him four times after the dog was trying to flee? If you see where his blood is going, he wasn't coming to the officer no more. He was trying to get away. So that one shot had him, and he was trying to get away over here, and he, he died right there in the street.